Uh, you know, they played like a team that was uh, you know, hungry for a win. And, you know, we turned the ball over way too much. Uh, you know, we didn't get to our secondary action, and then uh, you know, overall, we didn't play defense we needed to. And uh, you know, so much of what we've done on the offensive end this year has been uh, you know, pace related and uh, you know getting up and down the floor. But a lot of that has been dictated what we do on the uh, the defensive end. Tonight, we just didn't have it. Coming off uh, what, what Ty described as, as a pretty positive practice that he felt like, it, were you surprised at, at the result? Of course, uh, you know, we, uh, especially on our home floor, uh, you know, going up against uh, you know, one of the premier teams in the league, um, you know, a team that uh, always plays us hard, always plays tough. Yeah, I mean, uh, we would have liked a, a, a different outcome, but. Um, you know, just a little bit of sloppy play. As I mentioned, they were hungry for a win, and um, some certain things we needed to, uh, you know, adjust on out there, uh, especially throughout the game. And and you know, we, uh, you know, we're down. I think eight going into the third quarter, and you know, we came out and gave up two turnovers, and that kind of set the uh, precedent for the entire second half. How much did their length defensively, you know, affect what you guys were trying to do on the offensive end? Uh, you know, we've. I don't think we. Uh, Necessarily shot the ball too bad, but uh, you know I think they're able to at least on the offensive end get to the free throw line, uh, getting the bonus. Uh, you know they had a ton of assists, very low turnovers, uh, you know, played played the right way, and uh, you, you could see that. I don't think their length you know, really. Uh, I mean their length affects everybody, but um, you know I don't think that was the ter determining factor tonight. Kevin, I think you guys only had six assists over the last three quarters. Is that say it again? You only had six assists, I think, over the last three quarters mm -hmm. total. Um, I know you missed some shots, but what does that tell you about the way the ball is? Yeah, I mean that's just not us. Uh, you know, I think we're. We have two guys that are, uh, you know, so great at, at, at making the plays uh, for each and every one of us. We have to just have to, you know, knock down the shots uh, when it's there for us, and um, you know, be willing to, to make that extra pass when those guys do find us, uh, whether it's in the corner or you know, dump off off of a pick and roll. So uh, we just need to get back to, to doing that. I think we're we're a lot better team when we do so. You mentioned the turnovers. I think I, if I recall, it was Kyrie and, and you, and they were kind of like fluky, like unforced kind of. Yeah, I mean, there are a few of those tonight, but also there were ones where, you know, I can remember at least, you know, for me, there was uh, actually two probably against my old college teammate where I, one, I backed him down, he just swiped, and then uh, the next one I you know, ripped through and he, he swiped, I turned it over. So, uh, you know, it's just plays tonight that, you know, sometimes it happens, but, uh, you know, you just have to be more heady and, and conscious of what's going on out there. And, you know, tonight I wasn't, and uh, there were some more like that throughout. Thinking about Chicago tomorrow, is it a mindset that has to change the focus? Lead? Yeah, I mean, we got to have the mindset like uh, you know, Clippers had tonight. They were very hungry and uh, they were coming off, I think, a three or four game skid um, uh, and, and a couple of tough losses uh, in, in tough fashion. So I think you know, we're kind of the same way right now. Uh, uh, hate to say two blowout losses, but you know, that's what we feel like they were. And, uh, you know, we need to come out hungry for a win tomorrow and uh, have a different approach. Dave McMenamin, ESPN. Ty, the Clippers won on that 4-0 run to end the second half, and it only snowballed from there in the third. You had two early timeouts but didn't seem to be able to stop their momentum. What were you guys failing to do? Failing to do? I just thought that, um, you know, we did a great job with Blake. We did a great job with CP, you know, coming to the game. And Reddick hurt us. I thought his movement, you know, off the ball. You know, which he's, a, he's a great mover without the ball, but you know, sometimes we miss, miss some coverages where we left them wide open. Um, but I just thought J.J. Reddick's movement in the first half really hurt us. So, I, I guess this, the second half I was more pointing to the third quarter. The third quarter? Well, they just came out. I mean, they, they were a hungry team. You know, they lost three in a row. They came in, they was, you know, mo motivated, backs against the wall, losing three in a row. And um, they they came and played like a desperate team. And in that third quarter, we came out, um, ATO, half a bra, he had a layup under the basket, but he bobbled the ball, went out of bounds, and it just kind of snowballed from there. We could never get it back. Joe Varden, Cleveland.com. Given the positivity of, of yesterday's practice and everyone declaring a kind of, of a refocus, are you surprised that many of the same problems that you saw Tuesday were, were still there tonight? Maybe we should have bad practices. <laughs> Maybe that might help us again. I don't know. Um, but, I mean, like I said, they came in, they played well. 
you know. Um, offensively, they switched, they switched some things that, you know, gave us some problems, and we weren't able to attack, you know, the way we wanted to attack. And they did a good job defensively. We us off the line, you know, making sure we stayed home. They stayed home with shooters, switched the chain and pick and rolls and stuff like that. So they did a good job. Chris Vidor, Cleveland.com. Ty, I think he had six assists on ten made shots in the first quarter, and then you had six assists the rest of the way. Is it as simple to say that you weren't making shots, or was there something more there? Um, they started switching and made us play one-on-one -on -one basketball. Um, took us out of the ball movement and playing with pace and getting the ball from side to side. And um, when they started switching, we couldn't take advantage of the mismatches or the matchups they had on us you know, at the time. And um, you know, We've been doing a good job of getting off to a good start in those first quarters, but we got to be able to maintain it when we go to the bench. We got to be able to come in and, and maintain those, you know, keep, keep it going. Emmett Golden, ESPN Cleveland. Ty, what was the biggest difference between tonight's loss and the loss in Milwaukee? The biggest difference? The loss is a loss to me. I mean, it's not a difference. Um, like, people talk about Milwaukee like they're a bad team. I mean, their record, you know, they were you know, seven and eight, but they have a good team. They're athletic. You know, they're long. They're lengthy. They play great defense. And they've always given us problems in the past, you know, and um, this team is the same way with DeAndre, Blake, you know, guys, they can switch multiple positions. They can play, you know, one through five. They can guard those guys, and I've seen it personally. So um, nothing different about the loss. You know, we, we took two losses, now we got to get back on track tomorrow. Same question I always ask with the back-to-back -back coming, but we, uh, so I'm going to ask if everyone's available. But, but also, can you tell us a little bit about Dunleavy? He was a seemed like a late scratch today. Um, right, as of right now, everyone's available except for Dunleavy. Um, he um, he had some symptoms when he woke up from his nap today, and um, after yesterday, we was feeling good. So today, he woke up and he had some symptom, some symptoms, and um, wasn't feeling right. And he said on his drive-in, the lights, the oncoming traffic, kind of bothered him a little bit. So. Uh, right now, he's in the concussion protocol, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Ty, JR has tried a lot of things to break out of his slump. He said he walked backwards out of his front door, wore a ski mask the other night. Um, is, is there anything that you're seeing with JR that, that is contributing to his struggles over the last three, four games? No, I, um, nothing personally. I think tonight, you know, if they made that first shot, um, I, I could have did a better job of running some things for him to try to get him involved, especially when they're switching the way they switched. I should have, you know, I should have did a better job of running some actions to get Jay off pin downs and different little plays like that. But um, tonight he didn't struggle. He made his first shot, and then we really didn't get a chance to kind of get him in a rhythm. Uh, Tom Withers, AP, you're attributing a lot of this to the way the Bucks and the Clippers have played. So you're really not concerned about anything overall? Ty, the way you guys are playing I'm right saying now. they play good and they beat us. I mean, we have to play better. Of course we know that. But, I mean, they play well. They attacked us and they beat us.